Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Told Us Love. <clears throat> I'm turning down the music. Um, if this is your first time here, thanks for coming by. If you're returning, thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm in the midst of migrating still, so Told Us Tarot on the run. Not on the run, just like on the move. Um, Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Scorpio in your chart. Um, if you want to email me about a personal reading or just let me know how the reading resonates because you don't want to comment it, that's cool. I am at tolduslovetarot at gmail.com. Um, your likes, your subscribes, you're showing a friend that, so they'll subscribe. Helps me grow my little YouTube baby channel and I really appreciate it and I really appreciate your comments. Especially from a sign like Scorpio where I don't have any of that in my chart so your feedback is really appreciated. Alright Scorpio, you are my first one of the day. I was going to try to do you earlier and I just ran out of time so maybe you've been running out of time to get done what you need to do. feels good very funny I don't think I've seen that one yet one I don't like talking about feelings maybe someone hides their um, feelings with humor I've never been in love kinky open relationship I want to go on a date with you wow these are all pretty positive maybe someone's in the open relationship that wants to go on a date with you Scorpio I'm so attracted to you like all aspects of you so maybe you are um This would just make so much sense <laughs> for what <laughs> for different people that I'm thinking about Scorpio I can't even believe I'm saying this right now but it's you may be what um is referred to as a unicorn um meaning you jo you <laughs> You join couples or you are a repeat person who joins a couple in the bedroom. Um, just with all the colors here and I'm just pi picturing someone who like doesn't want to be tied down. Is like all about free love. Um, they just like people. They like meeting people. They like, it's like they love the look of love in other people's eyes and that they can elicit that from uh, other people. I just get this like, I'm picturing a person going out with either someone who's in a relationship already, a committed re open relationship, an ethically non-monogamous relationship, or um, you are meeting a couple. Maybe someone here prefers to date people in open relationships because they don't want to fall in love. They've never been in love. That's why it's like they don't care about, um, <clears throat> it's not that they don't care, but like there's no emotional attachments, which is... Scorpios, I swear, are known for being able to control their emotions the most of all the water signs. Like, they can shut that shit off. Um, I also get this feeling of, like, someone hiding from love and their feelings by just having kinky, fun sexual experiences. Um... They consider it very fun, and someone is very fun in that regard. Like, they... 
they prefer to join people who are in a relationship and be the third to them or they enjoy um, just dating people who are already in relationships. I'm realizing now too, it might not even be an, might not be an open relationship even if they said that it was. Someone could be entertaining someone who's in a whole relationship and the person that they're talking to is pitching it as like, oh, well, I would like an open relationship with you. Not knowing this person's in a whole nother relationship. Scorpio, what is going on? The Hermit Reverse just came out. You could be dealing with the Virgo. I just saw the Eight of Cups. Something very singular. So looking for your own happiness. Looking for... It's like your truth within yourself. Knowing that you have voids, like emotional voids that you need to fill and work on, but being smart enough to not just fill it with the wrong person or the wrong activity or the wrong coping mechanism. <clears throat> this five, six, seven, eight, yeah. It's like being, it's having the strength to know that there is still something missing from your life that you are searching for, but you're not going to settle for just anything or anyone. Like you want that specific one thing that will fill. It could be a, an achievement, a goal. It could... Maybe your goal is to be a unicorn. I don't know. <laughs> your um something you're you're working towards and trying to achieve, and you will stay non-committal and not <clears throat> be like an eternal bachelor until you've or bachelorette until you've achieved it. Someone is single but doesn't act like they're single. That's what I I feel like. They remain single, but they don't act like they're single. Maybe there's a sense of leading people on. Someone has set their sights on something else that either you, Scorpio, or if it's a cross watcher, it's like you, you're not going to be able, able to fill this in this person. They have to go within figure it out what they need to be doing and they have to seek it and I feel like there's a part of this person that really knows that and understands it this I make this is making me think um when the words come out fast like this I know I'm onto something this is reminding me of the Capricorn reading where it was something like the Emperor or just one partner was patiently waiting on the feminine energy to kind of like I don't want to say get her shit together, but is being patient enough with her because he wants her. So he's going to patiently wait as she works through her stuff. This is giving me that vibe of someone who wants to singularly work through their own stuff. Maybe their own wounds from childhood and they're looking back at it. But, um... It's like an understanding that they're the only ones that can address these things. They can't. It's like, uh, it's not anything someone can fix for them. They have to, they have to go in search of what will fill that void or how to feel fulfilled. I feel like someone here um, is not following their intuition or... Maybe if they are in a, um, maybe someone's in an open relationship or has tried doing an open relationship and is having to acknowledge that this doesn't feel right to them and it, um, like it's not what they're looking for. It's not what they want. Wow. Well. This is interesting. This emphasis of wanting to do the work on your own, Scorpio. Wanting to do the inner work or they want to do the inner work on their own. 
this whole singular energy from the unicorn in my head to, to being like you're joining someone in a relationship or you're joining um you're just dating someone who's already partnered it's this you are someone is choosing to be the singular <laughs> the lovers reverse like choosing not to be partnered magician maintaining and that's gemini energy too but to wow this is a major someone will fall in love and will be in love they're just manifesting right now this um i keep hearing like eternal bachelor or like even female like it Maybe a female who's been single for so long, she's like viewed as a bachelorette, like eternal bachelorette. Seven of cups. So we have nine, eight, seven, and now this is nine of the numbers, nine, eight, seven. I feel like someone has is if they're addressing some sort of internal thing they're having to look back at stuff that happened maybe at those ages nine six seven eight nine eight seven someone might be born um September 9th 79 let's watch in this This is like the person, it's like that guy's looking up at the moon thinking, I don't know what I need to fulfill it. And that the moon has like thoughts of like, I don't know what I'm missing and what, what, where my path needs to take me. Like, these are all the thoughts. I don't know. Someone is like confused or indecisive. I feel like as a personality trait, I'm hearing. They don't stay tied to anything for too long. Scorpio. <laughs> you or whoever you'd been dealing with, you guys like to be like cutthroat or like, like to try to get the last word. <clears throat> Here's the nine of swords um i see someone like cutting loose from whatever's been tying them and there's been a few things that's been tying this person down it could be this could be mental health issues literally you know anger issues was at the bottom of the deck scorpio when i um began to move the cards to get these. Maybe someone's acknowledging that there could be their drinking habits have led to mental health issues um, or someone's coping mechanism. It doesn't have to be drinking. It could be like smoking copious amounts of weed. It could be I just heard like getting done to arguments like online, like being obsessed with online going online and just being obsessed with attention and energy from online someone is like cutting ties from all that shit I feel like someone has dreams here like big dreams that they want to fulfill they think about these dreams at night it's like it's they can't get rid of these dreams, like uh, what they want to accomplish in life. The dream for themselves that they've had. And um, I feel like someone is on like a quest right now to do that. It might heavily involve working on oneself. Yeah, temperance reversed. And the Ten of Wands, I thought I saw this. I feel like someone realizes they have quite a bit of emotional baggage that they've been carrying around and hurting other people with it, Scorpio. Ooh, Eight of Cups reversed again. Someone has, um, 
it's almost getting a feeling of someone's held them their own selves back been like their own ball and chain with um imbalances that they need to address i'm hearing too like it literally could be like sugar levels something imbalances hormonal imbalances sugar levels like serotonin levels chemical levels mental health like someone has been kept back and held back by not addressing these issues and i feel like they don't even realize it like they could have got, gotten so much further in life or they feel that they could have but i'm a big believer like super believer in like we're all meant where we're supposed to be and we're on the path we're meant to be on there's no such thing as like i should have done that i mean we can have regrets but there's no such thing as like if i had done that my life would be entirely different like you weren't meant to do that though and would you want to do something you weren't meant to do would you want to be with someone you weren't meant to be with if you weren't in the grand scheme meant to be with them when you can think like that people can come and go out of your life and you're just like I will appreciate the life lessons you've brought me and I'm going forward because this is where our paths apparently end. I think it's like learning about detachment and like attachment. Someone could be learning about that. Like the law of uh, assumption, the law of attraction. But there's something a uh, meme that's playing in my head and I feel like this is a message that needs to be sent out to a Scorpio. What I mean by talking about the law of attraction and the law of assumption. <clears throat> heavily has to do with like the energy that you put out in the meantime. If you are trying to attract abundance happiness, love, and you are a shitty, petty, bitchy person, you're not going to attract that. You might not even know that you're doing it. You, this is where you got to ask your really close friends, like, what, what, what vibe have you been getting from me lately? I watched this funny meme and it was for some reason a woman, it was caught on camera, kicking a, um, snowman a kid snowman and the snowman fell and she stood on top of it and then she fell and someone commented the law of assumption i feel like it was an attraction but basically it was like it blew my mind that i'm like she kicked that snowman and she created the energy that forced her what caused her to face plant into the ground and you can't help but wonder, even though it's an inanimate object, like, good for you, bitch. Like, what the fuck are you doing walking around kicking a kid's snowman? But it blew my mind to think, like, I'm physically watching someone exerting a negative energy, a not nice thing, and they're getting not nice back at them. So it's always interesting, to me at least, when people have bad things happen to them, to take a hard look at the person. And then you might notice the people who seem to have good luck or like cripes, they seem to never have any issues. Look at who, how they are as a person. Are they a dick bag? I doubt it. Our minds and bodies are, are, are way more powerful than we know or than the common folk know and are told about. That's a whole nother can of worms I'm not going down. But I feel like <laughs> why I'm mentioning this is maybe someone has been trying to manifest, has been trying to be, um, manifest love into their life and like wanting to be, okay, maybe someone wants to be a mom. They're trying to manifest the father of their child of their dreams and like they pray for this and they manifest it. 
Our brains and what we're praying for and manifesting is only half of the process. The other half of the process is actually physically doing something to create that manifestation. So you could do anything physically and manifest with it. Every time I do the dishes, I am calling abundance into me. Whatever you're doing, you can make it into manifestation. While I fold this laundry, I call uh, energy into me so I can fulfill the work needs I need to do tonight, whatever, however it means to you. If you are constantly trying to manifest love, the future father or mother of your child of your dreams, the picket fence and the dog and everything and cooking and weekend get togethers with friends and family, but you're out dating and being mean to people, ghosting people, not communicating, um, being petty or putting stuff on social media, making fun of people that you've dated. If you're putting out that energy, that co totally counteracts what you're manifesting because what you're manifesting and how you're actually acting aren't on the same page. There's a reason why I'm going this far into depth and there must be a Scorpio out there that needs to hear this. But basically your prayers and your manifestations have to align with your energy. If you are trying to become uh, a millionaire and this is your dream to have so much abundance that you could be floating in money, but when you are walking down the street and you see someone with who is in need, you scoff at them and like make fun of them or you'll make fun of people who are on like public assistance or um, you make comments like I would like you'd never donate to charities or anything like that like you're putting forth energy of a like a stingy asshole who doesn't know how to give back and be thankful the universe isn't going to grant that for you because your actions aren't matching someone who deserves to have an abundance of money that they can float in i hope this all made sense because it essentially does come down to our thoughts and our energy and our intentions anybody can have a shitty intention while they do something positive that's that's like the evil eye shit and why you keep your positive news to yourself because not everybody going oh my god yes is actually thinking that some of them could be in like you fucking asshole i hate you i hope it goes bad for you while they're smiling that shit is energy that's being sent towards you our minds and words and energy is way more powerful than we think. And once you start to harness that, Scorpio, once you really connect with and understand kind of the greater schemes of like every little thing that happens to me has put me on the path that I need to be at. Every struggle, every heartbreak, every fight with family, every time I cried about this, every time I was pinching pennies because I had no money, that was all part of the master plan of myself. Scorpio, <clears throat> I think you are on this sort of path of like churning within. I think this is part of why I just went off on that whole little like mind-blowing like oh my god the universe and energy i could talk about this stuff for hours but i'm a big believer in i'm not gonna waste my energy talking to a wall i will talk to a sponge if the sponge is open-minded to absorb but if someone is like has no interest in it doesn't believe in it isn't wouldn't even consider what i have to say there's no point in talking about it that's just a waste of my energy these are the big things I feel a Scorpio is understanding, like the power of their words and actions, or maybe just watching this, you're, you're understanding, but there is a Scorpio here who is singularly trying to manifest their dreams and in the process of chasing those dreams you are learning other parts of yourself addressing other parts of yourself bringing balance to yourself 
and it's like almost being able to then drop the issues and walk away from them a big shedding like snake shedding here like do scorpions shed i think they do maybe you're outgrowing your little shell scorpion i'll sound like a dumb bitch if i'm wrong right now <laughs> you're shedding your little scorpion skin and you're hitting the trail this was not a lot of cards in here for this reading but the message to me is very clear and i see it with all these great positive cards someone is like out there looking for it's like searching for themselves and like putting in the energy to address the things that have held you back or are holding you back or people holding you back, which are then going to propel you forward. I do think it, it does involve severing ties with people, places, things, mentalities, but in the process, you are just, you are learning the power of your own mind, Scorpio. That's That might be what I title this. Whew, I only got two cards from that deck too. And I am done. Heavy, heavy, heavy reading, Scorpio. If it doesn't resonate, go check out the other signs in your chart. If it does, please let me know. I will see you next time. Bye.